Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. People are dead. It's great. We love when people are dead. This time, not just one person is dead, but two people. Fantastic. Even better. Um, so yeah, so we woke up in the morning. Mikan was in our room again for some reason. We went to the hospital. We got a weird transmission of someone hanging themselves that turned out to be Ibuki. We ran to get everyone else after we, you know, fact-checked and made sure that someone was actually dead. They were. And then we came back with Fuhiko, Chiaki, and Mikan, and discovered that there were not one but two bodies. Hyoko is also dead. Hyoko was not there when I was there just 10 minutes previously, so that's gonna... I'm thinking that's gonna be the predominant factor in figuring out who the hell did this. But... We have the Monokuma file, and... Uh, we haven't read it yet, but we have it. It's a thing. And we're starting the investigation now. Let's go. But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It is really hot. Because your clothes are smothering. <sighs> Seriously, can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. Okay, he's out. It's really warm in here for some reason. So Kazuichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it really is hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? Now, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Oh, look at all these dead people. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sayonji. Ibuki Miyota's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko Sayonji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. It appears her death was instant. Okay. That, is this it? I already know the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Was that all it says? Okay. Hey, darling. How you doing? You okay? It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill the two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or was there a reason that they had to kill two people? Okay, so I've come up with a couple theories. Another one that I came up with between episodes was they told Ibuki to kill... Kyoko, and then we're afraid that Ibuki would betray them or tell um, after she got cured, and so then they had to kill her. They told her to kill Hyoko and then kill herself, and we're like, oh, I guess that works. Like, I don't know, but a reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I'll definitely find out. I will definitely find the truth behind this case. I think... That's what I think. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had a more confident-sounding catchphrase. All right, let's get to work. Let's see what we've got. We've got lots of things. Let's just work from left to right. Hi, darling. Something like this happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cool. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. Uh, and now those two are no longer here such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Yes. Okay. So let's check. Is this gonna be a whole other area? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Um. Lots of things. Lots of things. Let's check the rope first. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looked like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. Hey Nagito, are you gonna help me out with this investigation instead of being a creep? But despite the fact that the music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> Wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikon, do you have a moment? Um, what's happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. But we got the rope anyway, so it probably is important. I mean, I'm sure it, it's obviously important, but... Okay, let's check the bag. 
Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? The hemp bag, upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Yeah, we know, that's from the, the movie theater. We've seen that before. Why didn't I get that as a truth bullet? Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm? It's this on Ibuki's feet. I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki, if that's the case. This blood belongs to someone else. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's Yoko's. We're gonna need to check out Hyoko's room, because that's where I feel like she probably was actually Damn killed. Right. Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of the hemp bag, though, and because I'm stupid. Like, come on, no one else has hair that like. No one else has hair that like. Wow, that's th that's sense. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that robe. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hyoko was tied up. Well. That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. Well, that doesn't mean- okay. But I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. That doesn't mean you know when she died. Yeah, but like, come on, someone could read that. Wait, hold on. Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died right after. Does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Gyoko's death afterwards. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Yeah, no, of course not. Alright, let's check the ladder. Step ladder's tipped over on its side. Yeah, yeah, I remember. There, this must be the step ladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. <gasps> Isn't that a blood stain? See? Look, there's blood around the left side of the step ladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the step ladder. What does it mean? It means that Ibuki definitely killed Hyoko. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's check the candle. There's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from the candle. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Yeah, well, maybe they couldn't. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to Shaki first, and then we'll check out Hyoko over there. Oh, darling, don't be sad. If you're sad, I'm sad. With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Shaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Mm. Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, so hey. you take a close look at the floor. Oh, it is dirty. <laughs> if you look closely... You're right, there's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, isn't this... This isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Hyoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still. Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So... If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain, as long as the body's nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So what was the killer trying to hide? I don't know yet. I think I need more evidence before we... We do that. Uh, let's... Can I look at Hyoko from here? Yeah. Okay. Oh god, I'm so sorry, honey. Hyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped up against the pillar with duct tape. She looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, look, her sash is tied in front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Yoko? Yeah, that's... That's weird. And when I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Yoko's body here. If that's the case, Yoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Yoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? 
Yeah, which is what I've been saying. Hey. Ah, Hashimei, do you have a minute? Oh, what's up, boy? No, you're in the way. Now, now. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? <laughs> Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, hey Kane! Yo. Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? What? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding Hyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Oh, wait, hold on. Yo. This is, there's something. Is this what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room, huh? Yeah, we should probably check that. The key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove. Then it's very unlikely the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that Because rough? if this is a trap, they would have put it more towards the front of her kimono so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Hyoko had with her all along. Okay. Got it, got it. Hey. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you looked like you were curious about the condition of Hyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. Mm. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well. well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with the duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? Yeah, I did. that did occur to me. <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone and after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood, that's enough to make anybody faint. Okay, I think we might be done up here. There should still be things- oh, never mind. There's more! Is it the lighting? Yeah, okay. Here we go. It's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. Is it baton or baton? I don't know. I've just been saying baton because that's how that word is read to me. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hank body. Speaking of the lighting, the video of the music venue I saw... It had dim candlelight ambiance to it and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that would have inconvenienced them? Okay, well the thing I'm thinking is that this doesn't look like Ibuki. Because you can't see the hair. I'm just saying. So you, so you noticed you. too, fiend. Huh? Noticed? So you didn't notice? Are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting. I'm gonna go with that until you guys tell me it's wrong. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? The baton lighting? You mean that? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and I can see there is no need. Go by four dark damage. Go Mirage Golden Hawk Jump P! Now's the time for you to take flight! Feast your eyes on the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction! A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. Oh my god, what a good boy! Choo choo! It started running around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was deftly caught by Gundam. That was badass! <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder! Wow. That is amazing! I've never seen a hamster do tricks! They're my four dark devas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So, what's with the paper? Fine. It seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scribed onto it. it was close. Here's it's nothing useful. Hmm. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, is too unnatural. That's weird. I don't know what that is. 
All right, is that everything? Nope, there's more. All right. Um, what else have we got going on? Wait. Oh, the curtain. Of course. How could I have missed that? There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It can't reach from one end of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. The curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Hmm. It's probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain of the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket. So... They went that far. This is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Hmm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Okay, interesting. How about that? We feeling good? No, we not feeling good. Okay, what else? Oh shoot, the control panel's back here. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I should mess around with it a little, like so. It's running as a heater! Over 86 degrees Fahrenheit! I wonder why it's so damn hot! I better turn off the heater for now, that should cool things off a little. Well, who did that? Shame on you! Alright, how's that? We good, we did everything. What is this? Oh, that's the... That's... Oh, that sucks. The shattered remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. I see. Here's me, the surveillance... Ooh, sorry, surveillance camera unit. This too must be the will Kazuichi of Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Why is it destroyed like this? Uh, Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera. Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then what was that thing I saw? Yes, that's weird. Okay, got that. Great, great, great. Alright, what else do we need to look at? I totally forgot that I could use the stupid tab thing to see what I need to look at up there. <laughs> did you direct your gaze to the brave stature of the My Four Dark Davis of Destruction? I did. What do you got to say, Connor? Are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekamaru, it's like my knees start shaking. Girl, you got a crush. There's no way I got that kind of weakness. Probably go away if I battle a strong dude, but Nekomaru's not here. Nekomaru would definitely come back. Y you're right. All right, let's, let's save our, our good boy Nagita for Damn last. Right. Hajime, take a look at this. What? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. A drumstick. This is a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... If something like that is in front of the door, you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hajime, you are a moron. Hey. Remember when we came to the music venue? Yeah, I remember. If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. I wonder if that's gonna be possible. The four of us, two of us are girls. Doesn't matter. Let's go, I'll charge the door. We've done this before, and then we made it. Are they gonna show me this whole freaking scene? Okay, never mind. We're good. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here... Huh. Well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? <laughs> the broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then, how was the killer able to get out? Huh? huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't have been able to escape outside. Like... Maybe... The killer was still inside and we broke down the door to the music venue, and they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. I get it. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. I heard what you two were discussing. Chalky, that was a kind of cool entrance! Well? Besides the broken drumsticks, I've also discovered something interesting. 
What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the right and left door touch. See? You're right. What is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but she said that Chalky bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. Oh. Nom. Mm -hmm. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Oh. Don't eat that. Oh my god. It smells like workshop chemicals. Girl, spit that out. Workshop? And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? You shouldn't be eating that. Okay, thank you. Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Shaggy spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? Okay. Semi-transparent glob. That looks like a real photo. Okay, uh, Nagito, darling, what do you got for me? Hajime. This might be imprudent of me to ask, but... Will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident. For the sake of dedicating my body to... an even greater hope. No. Wow. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No! This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm gonna tell him what he wants to know. How unfortunate. I see. That's disappointing. Okay. I mean, the thing is, yes, he's a weird dude, but he's smart. Towards his stuff only. Might as well investigate. Like, he's a smart guy. I know we hate him. But, oh, oh, look, look, look. Hi, you came inside with me. That was interesting and cool of you. You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. The mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. That could be important. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. Compared to last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? That was what I was thinking also. That's why I looked at it. Um, okay, we have the instruments, which I doubt will be anything, but let's check anyways. And about guitars. They don't look like they pertain to the case. I know, I just wanted to look. Alright, what else? Camera, we've got shelves. The carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for stage decorations. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 I saw that too. This thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. There are lots of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper. This edge of the wallpaper. It looks a little torn, but what does this mean? Okay, not gonna give me anything for that, though. Alright, Nagito, what about you? What do you think? Nagito, did you come here to investigate the storage room, too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it, or is he trying to stand guard here? Hey. So, how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step ladder on the stage, the duct tape binding Kyoko. That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that they used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just gonna be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> Aw, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. What? That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime. I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us again. Instead, you don't want to find the truth. You just want to make us suffer. Oh, me? That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh, well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'll gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. Damn it. It's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously, the movie theater. After he said that, Nagito walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? I guess that's everything important in this storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. 
Okay, so we have two places to investigate now. That's exciting. We've got a checklist. I want to go to Hyoko's room. The, the, uh, her motel room. Whoa. I want to go to her motel room, I mean. And also, apparently, the music, the movie theater. Nope, wait, we're not done. Hold on. We need more. Um, okay. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Um, did I miss someone? Oh, I didn't talk to Mikon. She's hiding over there in the corner. <laughs> if only I noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagata's room, I went to the on-call room, and that's when it came to me that I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. And then, and so I went to the patient rooms and noticed Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning Wanakuma announcement. So I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please, spare my life at least! What happened to not doubting me? Okay, good to know. Alright, with this we might be close to finished... We might be close to finished investigating the music venue? Close to finished investigating... Is that a sense? But I still need to talk to Mikon. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. Wait, does that mean I need to talk to her again right now? We're gonna try it. How about it, Mikon? Have you found out anything by now? <laughs> Tell you the truth, it's been very inclusive. But it's not my fault! This music venue is just too hot! Which is exactly why they did it, which is what I was thinking. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat, is that possible? The body is overexposed to heat or cold. You won't be able to determine a precise time of death. See, that might have been the killer's goal. That was what I was thinking. I just wasn't sure if heat would have the same effect that cold does. Because I know obviously cold does that. But I'm, I'm pretty sure. I was pretty sure it would. They covered up the time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music menu hot. But that's weird. But... Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear one order the murders occurred. No, I think someone staged that. First was Ibuki, then Hyoko. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work like a song or film as an outline for their killings. It's so common in the detective no novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. Oh shit, it's Monokuma's movie and we didn't watch it. That movie? Good the assumption instance. is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Mm. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then is it not possible one more person might have been killed? This too must be the It's certainly of conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a sec! What are you all talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> are you guys worried there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries! Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a perfect countermeasure. Hmm. On this killing school trip, this same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? You mean you've added another rule? Yeah. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the black would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um, if it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings. Mm. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Mm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occurred once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? huh? So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Hi Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? 
I am concerned. We can only choose one based on the majority vote. The other person could certainly achieve victory. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there are three incidents instead of two? Or four incidents overlap each other? Silence. Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Um, how? Hmm. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Ugh. Like All right, this. fine, fine. That's right, there's only one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'll, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. See, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep. That makes things a little easier. Five. Plus, the same killer can kill a maximum of two people. Space it means the third victim powerless. would be impossible. Yes. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that. It sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Um, Could be you haven't seen it. Seen it? Seriously, seen what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my. When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Good of course, instinct. it's imitation of that movie. Well, Based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. He did. Our... Can be helped because we should rely on my gut feelings. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Alright, so maybe that should be our next goal, then. We should go to the movie theater. You... I see. See, I haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. It's like, I need to do that. Um, then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um, Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Hmm. Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be a good idea for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. And that's what we will do in the next one. I don't know where I want to start yet. I kind of want to start with the movie theater, just so we can get a good baseline of what's going on here. I think movie theater, and then I think Hyoko was actually killed first, so I'll probably head to the motel next and then do the hospital last. But we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind. I guess we'll find out in the next one. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye!